I mean, we've got a, a really strong report here. The, the Commons uh, Health Select Committee uh, have said that there are 20% of children starting primary school who are obese, which is really shocking. And that, and that number actually increases. And what we know is it's from our evidence, and we've got 200 schools across the capital and across the country, we help 22,000 children get healthy breakfast every day, is that these kids are coming in with energy drinks and crisps and rubbish, but after they've learned about a healthy breakfast mm. and have a healthy breakfast on a regular basis, they don't want the sugar, salt, fatty snacks so much. And it is the poor who are uh, disproportionately over sugared. I mean, 30% of the calories of an 11 to 18 year old coming from sugary drinks it means that we're just we're just storing up such problems and that these kids are actually suffering right now. Mm. Why is that? Is that because these are more readily available, they're easier, they're cheaper to get hold of and that's why these children are having them? Or is it because the children say, I don't want a healthy porridge, what I want for breakfast is my high sugar cereal? Yeah, and of course, I mean, children are drawn to um, the, the products that are most easily available and are marketed to be most attractive. And we, have to, we know that the, that the big brands that are selling products that are not the most healthy have got a lot of money to spend on that and what we want to do is to make sure that there's a really strong idea that every child needs the right nutrition at the start of their lives and the start of the day in order to be able to do well and we have to then make sure that we've got a positive health message that is as strong as the positive junk message because mm. I'm really worried about these children and Magic Breakfast is passionate about making sure these children are not over sugared we're talking about 5.1 billion uh, NHS expenditure every year as a result of these poor eating habits. Now we've got children who are hungry, who are um, malnourished and who are obese. It's all part of the same problem, poor dietary knowledge and over-dependence on high sugar salt food and we've got to do something about it. Mm, David Cameron at the moment seems steadfast that he doesn't want to bring in uh, a sugar tax. Do you think he'll listen to this group of MPs? I think he will. I think he will. I mean, I, I think we've got to kind of have a good discussion at national level and look at the evidence internationally. I mean, France, Hungary, Mexico have all bought in sugar taxes which have been affected in reducing consumption, particularly of sugary drinks. I'd actually go further and Magic Breakfast would like to see a, a tax on sugary cereals which are, again, giving children too much of the wrong food and we're the grown-ups it's our generation we have to look after these children and that's what magic breakfast is trying to do